Okay, in today's video, I'm going to go over an example where we're going to calculate the power output of a person as they walk up a flight of stairs. How much work do they do and in what time? In a previous video, which you can link to right here and also find the link to in the description of this video, I went over a brief explanation and a brief introduction to what power is if you would like to watch that video first. But let's calculate the power output in watts and horsepower of a 75 kilogram jogger who runs up a long flight of stairs in 8.5 seconds. The vertical height of the stairs, not the length of the stairs, but the vertical height of the stairs is 15 meters. What's the power output of that person? Okay, let's get out our power equation. Power is equal to work divided by time. Now we're not told how much work the person does, but we know that it's a 75 kilogram jogger and if in order to do that, they're going to have to raise their body up, apply a force over a distance. The force we can calculate by taking the mass, multiplying it times the acceleration due to gravity. That's the force times the distance, and that's the work. Divided by the time, we'll get the power output. It's the mass of the object times the acceleration due to gravity times the distance it's raised divided by the time. So we're going to say that that is 75 kilograms times the acceleration due to gravity, 9.81, times the distance it's raised, 15 meters, divide by the time, 8.5 seconds, and you get that the power output of that person to raise their body up, 75 kilogram body, up 15 meters in 8.5 seconds is 1,300 watts. Well, what about the horsepower? So we're just gonna convert. Horsepower is just another unit for power. We know that one horsepower is 746 watts. Take 1,300, multiply that one, divided by 746, and you get that the power output of that person expressed in horsepower is 1.74 horsepower. Okay, there you go. I think that's a relatively straightforward example. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, you should do all of the following three things. Give me a thumbs up for this video subscribe to my YouTube channel, get all my excellent chemistry, physics, and math videos, and then leave me a nice positive comment in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you in the next video.